beautiful as Aphrodite, wise as Athena, Wonder Woman. Hey y'all, it's Beth with Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for dropping by. I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe to my channel because we have a lot of fun here. Today's video is a haul video, but not to one Goodwill. Nope, not to two Goodwills, but to three Goodwills and a Salvation Army. So before we get started, let's dip into that gratitude jar and pull the name of someone who has motivated or inspired me. And today it is Diana with Little Vintage Me. Oh, I'm so excited to be able to spotlight Diana's channel. I'll put that right up here and a link to her channel right below in my description. Diana has all kinds of thrifting videos. She has haul videos. Um, she has DIY videos. She has home decor videos. So go check out Diana at Little Vintage Me. And Diana, thanks so much for being a part of our community and sharing your content with us because she finds some really great stuff, y'all. So, on with the haul. Okay, y'all, we got some stuff, and I'm just gonna start. I think I have it all separated by the receipts, and so I should be able to tell you what I spent at each store. I didn't get a whole lot at each store, but it was a pretty good haul. Some of these are really old. And when I say really old, like this one, March 22nd a tad behind, just a tad. But it's like Christmas because I couldn't remember everything that I got. So I was happily surprised when I unwrapped everything and I did go ahead and unwrap everything just because there was so much that was wrapped up. So thanks Goodwill and Salvation Army for actually wrapping my stuff. All right, let's see what I got first. First up is something that I thrifted for a gift because I've said many times that I do not buy everything for resale. Yes, I am a reseller, but I'm also a person that repurposes vintage and antique items and re-gifts them, uses them as part of a gift. And sometimes I just see something and I like it for my own home decor or I like it for a friend. And this one I loved for a friend because she truly is Wonder Woman. I have a friend who honestly is a lot like Wonder Woman. She can get some stuff done and she loves Wonder Woman. So I picked up this really heavy, really big mug. She can use it as a planter. She can use it to hold pens. She can use it to hold makeup brushes. She can use it for whatever she wants to. But I did find this Wonder Woman mug and it made me think of my friend. So she will be getting this. It says, beautiful as Aphrodite, wise as Athena. Wonder Woman. I can't wait to give that to her. All right, next thing is, I don't know why I keep picking them up, but I love them and so I keep picking them up. Not a lot of resale value in them and usually I end up keeping them myself, but they are the little books with the scripture printed on them. And it says, he careth for you. And this is 1 Peter 5, 7. It's got the little Capitamonte of flowers on there. And as I looked through them, I did not see any of the leaves or the flowers that were broken. Oh, wait, I take that back. This one right here, which quite possibly could have happened when I had it since it's been in the corner since March. Um, this one says, Marsha with love, mother, 1955. So if the only thing broken on this was a little leaf off the corner from 1955, I'm okay with that. But I do like to add these to displays and they are the colors that are in the other bedroom. So sometimes I use them for decor and then switch out the decor and sell them in live sales or put them in my booth. But I think I'm going to hold on to this one for just a little while. All right. The next thing that I got was, I don't know what it says because it's in German, but I thought the picture was funny. This is just a little shot glass. And if I can show it to you with the camera focusing, it looks like she's flung open the shutters and he falls back. Um, she is just enamored with him. So I thought this was really super cute. She has just made him fall. He's falling for her, y'all. But I thought this was really cute. So I'll probably have that in like a live sale. 
The next thing is for me, and it is just some cinnamon sticks. Now, I use these at Christmas. I have a stovetop potpourri that I like to burn, usually October to January, to be quite honest, because I love things that smell good in my home. Cinnamon sticks are actually really expensive to buy, and usually they aren't this large. So I pick these up. This would be about 12 or $14 in the grocery store. So I picked it up for a dollar. $1.99 and since I'm going to be soaking them and not using them for cooking um, like in a recipe then they still will be fragrant enough so I picked those up and the last thing that I picked up was actually an orange ticket and this day orange was 75% off so it must have been a Monday y'all and I picked this up just a cute little sign but it says lobster Newberg and it does have the recipe on the bottom and it says in the bottom, made in Taiwan, Republic of China. That's what it says on the back, rather. And that just kind of dates it a little bit. But I thought if you are in Maine or if you are someone who likes to cook, that this would be a cute little display piece. It's not very... Um, thick the woody wood or anything but i love the fact that it does have the recipe on there so i picked that up and that will be for resale from that particular store on this day back in march yeesh, i gotta get busy y'all it i only spent 6.99 so not bad for all of that all right on to the next goodwill let's see this goodwill i spent a whopping seven dollars and 37 cents that's including tax and it looks like I got six items from this one. The first item I'm going to show you is it is made in Hong Kong and it has an original Target sticker on it. So let me show you that first. It has the original Target sticker on there. And then in the on the bottom, it does say made in Hong Kong. So it is older, but I just loved this little candle set here. It's all one candle with Frosty and Santa and a Christmas tree. And I thought this would be beautiful underneath a clear dome or a cloche. I thought that would be beautiful with some fake snow or something around that with a little bit of fairy light, y'all. <gasps> This will be darling. So apparently I'm keeping that because I already have it staged in my head. <laughs> All right, and I only paid 99 cents for that. Good deal. I got some other candles, but this is a totally different holiday. And this is a San Francisco candle company. It was 99 cents and they are Halloween candles. And the best part of these is they glow in the dark. Now I haven't tested them to see if they still glow in the dark, but I'm pretty sure that they do. But I thought this was really, really cool. I don't decorate a lot for Halloween, more so for Christmas, um, but they have not been burned. They're new in the package. They're not vintage or anything, but I think glow in the dark candles are super, super cool. So I did pick those up and these will be for sale in a live sale when it's closer for Halloween. Also, I picked up another glow in the dark candle and it is from the San Francisco Candle Company as well. It, it was only 99 cents and it is a big ghost and it does glow in the dark. So I thought these were super cool and for 99 cents, I couldn't pass them up. You don't find a lot of um, items for Halloween, so I did pick those up. The next thing that I picked up is a Independence. Well, it made me think of Independence Day, but it is just a relatively new tin, but look how cute this is. This says Harry Barker Dog Treats, canine approved American cheese. It does have a March 2017 date on it out of Charleston, South Carolina, but it is a dog treat that was in here and it has all the different names of the dogs or breeds of dogs on there. So we've got Poodle and Beagle and Cocker Spaniel and Dachshund. Over here we've got Frenchie and Corgi. Um, we've got Chihuahua, German Shepherd. Oh, they've got them all. Basset Hound, Bulldog, Rottweiler, Pug. We've got them all, but y'all, I loved this little tin and I can't wait to use it in my Independence Day or patriotic holiday displays. I thought that was really cool. 
like I told you, I pick up all seasons all the time because you kind of build up your decor. I really don't have a lot for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I don't have a lot for 4th of July or those types of Memorial Day, those patriotic holidays. So that's really what I've been looking for more. Um, the next thing that I got was Thinking of Patrick with Trusty Huckster Mercantile, I got a whole set of coasters, y'all. And these are from Grolich Premium Quality. And it is got a complete set of the coasters inside of here. And I think that says Grolich. I don't know. If you can phonetically spell it out in the comments below, that would be great. That would help me so much. Premium dry draft beer imported from Holland, brewed and bottled by Grolit, Grolish Beyer. I'm not even going to try that. Y'all can read that for yourselves, right? Y'all know exactly what that says. But it is in Holland. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 32, 33 coasters and the little set. So what I envision this to be in a pub somewhere, like sitting on a bar in a dark, smoky pub, people drinking tall draft beer on a sticky bar. I mean, we've all been there, right? That's what I envisioned these being used for, but I did think it was really cool that it had the little container as well as all of the coasters and there was no water damage or anything on these, so they're like new. So I did pick those up. So thanks to Patrick, the trusty huckster mercantile, for having me now look for coasters. The last thing that I got for $7.37 through this trip in March, the 22nd, of Goodwill is another patriotic piece. It's not anything um, real. It's from 2007, so it's not real vintage or anything. It's a fife and drum core ornament from American Traditions Collection. And I just picked it up because I like the scenery. I like the imagery in that. And I think that it will be beautiful um, in a display for the 4th of July. So I did pick this little ornament up, but it does have the tag on it. And I only paid 99 cents sense. So most of these things I will be using for display in my home or gifts, but there are a few things that are going to be for sale in a live sale. If you ever see um, an item in a video before it, it goes to a live sale, which is what I try to do. I'm not always successful, but I try to do that for you. And you are interested in an item, email me at the email right here and in the description below. And let's talk about if the item is still available and if it is up for grabs and I can get a shipping quote to you, then we can figure out if you would like to purchase the item. It's simple as that. All right, so that's two Goodwills down. We have one more Goodwill to go, and we have a really quick trip to the Salvation Army. The last one, ooh, I went up in price, y'all. The first one I spent $6.99. The second one I spent $7.34, and this one I spent $10.74. So this one was great. Look at me buying a lot of stuff. All right, so starting off small, um, this actually was old stock from a school, and I know it is because I recognize the department that it came from, so I'll cover that up, but it was at Goodwill. These are just some flashcards. They were orange tickets, so they were 75% off of the 99 cents tag, and I will use these in August for my August back to school package toppers. So I thought those would be fun to pick up. And I got, uh, let's see, there's 91 flashcards in here and I got them for 25 cents. Another package topper that I got to moving away from school, moving into like your friends. I don't know, cause it's definitely not for school y'all. This is the battle of the sexes top list. And this is just a card game. It's men versus women. Who's top in top 10 list? It says men. Can you name the top 10 most popular women's magazines? Women. Can you name the top 10 states that issue the most hunting licenses? 
I can't answer either one of those questions, quite honestly. It says, Battle of the Sexes top lifts proves which gender knows the other best. Each card has two lists, one geared towards women and one towards men. Guess the highest answers on the opposite sex list and you'll score big. Well, I can just tell you, if I'm looking at what the questions were on the back, I can just tell you right now, I'm not going to win that game either. You know, I'm always picking up games that I'm not going to win. I think I should probably think about that. But I thought those were fun for just 25 cents. All right, another orange ticket item that I got. I wasn't really sure about this, but I like the nostalgia of it. Um, this is from Woodway Toys, and it is out of Kingsland, Texas. And it is a wooden race car. And I got it for like $2.99. It has everything that you need in there plus the directions. But I thought this was really cool. It would make a great little summer project for you to do um, with the kiddos or if you're into building cars. This was really cool. So it is a Woodway Toys and it says Mean Streaks Brat is the name of the a uh, car there and it says right here Woodway Toys and it does say that it was since 1970 made in the USA with pride Kingsland Texas so I thought this would be cool I'll put that in a live sale two pieces of jewelry that I found the first piece is a vintage pin and it's not any pin but it is a Walt Disney Productions pin made in Taiwan, and it is Main Street, USA. So let me see if I can hold it up so you can see it. Can y'all see that Mickey Mouse in there? It says Main Street, USA, and it does have a Mickey there. And so I picked that little lapel pin up and that will make a great live sale item, especially for our vintage jewelry collectors or pin collectors. And the next is a brooch. We all love brooches. And this one is really, really pretty. It is stamped on the back. It does have a maker stamp on the back and I cannot read it. If I can get the loop and the magnifying glass and read the maker's mark, I'll let you see that it is stamped right here. Can y'all see that? It is stamped right there. But let me show you the front. Isn't that beautiful? All the little pearls are still there. It looks like a flower. I really like that. Paid a little bit more than I usually do for things at Goodwill, but I really liked it. Um, and it's it's got substantial weight to it. It's got a great C-clasp on it. And it did have some kind of marking on that. Again, there's the back with the marking. And then here is the front. I just loved that. That was beautiful. So I picked that up. All right, two more things from this Goodwill, and then we'll move on to the last two items from, where is that? Where did I say I went? Oh, Salvation Army. It's because I've never been there before, but let's see. Another game, and I'm sure I picked this up for package toppers. It is called Advertising, the game of slogans, commercials, and jingles. Now, this was $2.99 with 75% off. It says, Advertising, the hilarious game of recalling advertising slogans and jingles. Great fun as players try to match product with familiar advertising gems of the past and present. And this is 1988. So, it is Tate. And so, this is the box. It's got some little cards and things in the back. So I haven't opened that up, but I would be interested in playing that probably once. I couldn't get that wrong. I mean, I watch TV, don't I? I mean, if it's not McDonald's or something with like a jazzy little jingle, you know, that like you sing like double your pleasure, double your fun. Yeah, like that. Does anybody know that one? That's the kind of stuff would stick in my head. Slogans, probably not so much, but jingles, I might be your girl on that one. Next one is, I have never found this. 
I was so excited to find one. I literally Marco Poloed Christine and Michelle to say, OMG, I found one. Look at this. Yep, I finally found a thermos. It is in great shape. It's a great big thermos. It has the plaid on it. It is, let's see, it's a Kingsley thermos and it's made in the USA. Here's the lid right here. The lid does come off. It has the little turn piece and it is clean and all inside. I know people don't really use these, but I do know that people um, decorate with them. And so to find one with all of the pieces, it's not dented. It's not scratched up. It is absolutely beautiful. So I cannot believe that I found this. And I got it for a pretty good price. So that will definitely be for sale in a live sale closer to Christmas because I know people will be decorating for that. So I got all of that for $10.74. So I'm up to about seven, 14, 24. I'm up to about $25 so far, and that's a lot of stuff. So I did go to a Salvation Army. I typically don't go to Salvation Army, and there's only one close to me, and they're nothing like the Salvation Armies that I see other people go thrifting in. But on this particular day, also I didn't have a whole lot of time, but it was, oh gosh, this was March 22nd too. No wonder I didn't have a lot of time. I was at three Goodwills. And you know what? I think there's actually a fourth Goodwill down here from this same day. I don't know what I've been waiting on. I mean, it's not like they're going to magically list or sell themselves or they're just going to show up in the location of the house that I want to decorate them in. I get, it's just been work, y'all. Work is, I'm going to use work as an excuse. That works, right? So I only spent uh, $5. So I meant like maybe $30 for this, these particular items, everything that I'm gonna show you today. And I got the thermos and the brooches and the pen. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. So this, I actually rounded up. It was $4.67 and I rounded up and I just got two things. And I do know why I bought one of them because Miss Martha from Vintage Conversation and I, we did a, a country and Western themed live sale, which we probably need to bring back. I've had several people ask me about items when they go back and watch the sale, which also helps because sometimes items don't sell and we still have the item. So if you go back and watch live sales, any of the live sellers that are on YouTube, always check with them if you see something because sometimes the item didn't sell. Sometimes, unfortunately, something happens and someone's not able to pay for their item or they just don't get the contact information and they're not able to even invoice the person. So things happen and check with them to make sure that um, the item may still be available. So you might be in luck. But I picked this up, which will do great for Christmas. This was made in Hong Kong. It's got a little yellow sticker there that says made in Hong Kong. I paid like $2 for this tin. It says Merry Christmas on the front. It says, let me read it this way. It says Merry Christmas to y'all and to y'all a good night. And it has a stagecoach Santa with some reindeer, bulls, cows, slash reindeer. They don't look like they're going very fast, so don't count on getting any of those gifts from Santa. But it is a sweet little tin, and I love the fact that it says, Merry Christmas to y'all, and to y'all a good night. So I thought this was really cute, and I picked this up. So I'll save that for a Christmas sale. And the last thing that I got was a little piece of Mexican pottery. I don't see that it is signed I have to really look, but I love the colors in this. And this is a beautiful little turtle and it is purple, y'all. I mean, first of all, there's a lot of people out there that love turtles and this little turtle is purple and he's got some little painting. He is glazed on the outside. He is not glazed on the inside, but I think a little succulent, a little hump succulent like this, like a little bush succulent, I think that would be so cute in this little turtle. 
He's darling. I really like him a lot. So I picked him up as well. Well, that's it, y'all. Three Goodwills and a Salvation Army. And I got a lot of stuff. So let's talk favorites. Oh, wow. This is going to be pretty hard. So let's do one per store. Let's see. I really like, I don't know. I think both of these came from, no. I think I like this from the first store because I'm keeping it. <laughs> um, the, the glow in the dark candles for Halloween are super cool. Um, I also thought the coasters were cool, but I like this little tin mainly because I like dogs and it's 4th of July. From the other one, it has to be the thermos. I love the thermos. It was my first one finding it. And from Salvation Army, it has to be the little turtle. So make sure you leave me a comment below to let me know which one was your favorite find. I mean, if you have more than one favorite, I think that's okay. I have more than one favorite flavor of ice cream and that's okay too. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this haul. If you like this kind of content where I go thrifting to bring home items to show you what I got, how much I paid for most of them, when I can remember, and what I'm going to do with them, make sure that you give this video a, a thumbs up. Again, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the notification bell too to all notifications so that you will not miss a video upload or a live because we do go live very frequently here on the channel. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.